it's got off to such a great start tonight. It's Friday the 13th, as you might have guessed, and everything is going wrong. I booted up the show. I couldn't remember how to play the videos. Robbie's computer's not working. But the good news is, is we've got uh, Kent is here with me uh, as usual. And we've got the wonderful Ty Unwin here with his... Uh, expressive e osmos for a, a kind of in-depth look at that so that's what we're going to be doing tonight but i'm literally stalling for time now waiting for robbie to come on and rescue me so uh it as you know it's friday the 13th everything that could go wrong has gone wrong so far and while i'm waffling here i'm just trying to find some of the banners because as you know uh, Robbie usually presents a show, and I'm really panicking here. Uh, but if you could uh, like, comment, subscribe, and share the show, because we're trying to get the views up, because they're not that great at the minute, and we think that we should have more. Uh, you can follow us on that um, Elon Musk thing. Uh, we're also on Instagram. We're on Facebook. Obviously, we're on YouTube because that's where the show usually is. Now, we're, we're going to be running through the uh, Osmos with Ty. If you've got any questions, to keep it easy for us to spot, uh, just start it off with a queue because it's really hard to spot with all the, the chat flying about everywhere because we do get a lot of views. Uh, I think that's about it, really. Um, <laughs> I'm really hoping that Robbie turns up. Let's bring the others in because, uh, first of all, let's uh, add, well, let's say hello to Kent. How are you doing, Kent, my mate? Oh, Christ. Uh, hang on. There you yeah. go. There you yeah. go. Yeah. I do, I do thank you. Yeah. Yes, I'm doing fine. Rabbit's doing fine. Hello, Rabbit. Oh, I'm fine. Yeah, uh, all good. Yeah, nice good. one. Nice one. Have you got uh, an Osmos yet? Or... <laughs> oh, oh, you are such a comedian. No, I haven't. Uh, uh, I have not yet. But soon. Right. Yeah. Well, let's go over to our special guest for the evening. Uh, have a look at uh, Mr. Ty Unwin. I'm See a... you there in your wonderful studio. How are you doing, I'm... Ty? I'm honestly stop stop the special guest things i think people just need to see i, I honestly wish everyone could see what was going on behind the scenes yeah in the last <laughs> 10 minutes <Yeah. laughs> leading into this because it was I, I swear to you i've been in tears because <laughs> ben's just been whoa panic central it's been amazing yeah, all, plus all, it's special that's strong in it a bit isn't yeah. it yeah and 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 Rob, you see, the thing is, what you don't can't see is the fact that so we we could hear Rob, but Rob couldn't hear us, and so I don't know what Rob's doing at the moment. He's just disappeared, and he's absolute panic central. But it was literally the language was just amazing because we could hear him. He couldn't hear us. Which <laughs> ourselves laughing, laughing. Yeah, anyway, yeah. Anyway, anyway. Yeah, he got some lovely uh, reviews off us all. I think when he couldn't hear us, but <laughs> <laughs> he did. Oh, yeah. hang on a minute. Do I need need more gain? Time to turn me up, apparently. Put your platforms on. Now, you see, Robbie set all this up earlier, and apparently I was coming in nicely. Am I Let now me, not coming in nicely? Le, I don't know. Let me have a look, see if... Ah. Ah, oh, uh, right. So let's have a look at this. Hang on. Uh, try that now. One, two, one, two, seven, eight, nine. Is that any better in the chat? Anyway. Wow, this is all going so well. I think I uh, know, yeah, there, yeah. It's uh, a. <laughs> I actually, I'm in low resolution as well because part of the things that's going wrong is that my continuity camera on my phone isn't working, and so it's just absolutely everything has gone wrong. Obviously, that uh, little mic technique I tried on you there, Ty, hasn't worked. So uh, good. Well, so, thank goodness I'm not demonstrating anything because that would be awful. <laughs> if, yeah, wouldn't it be bad? If there was no level. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, yeah I, I, so, can't, I can't really give you any more from here, to be fair. I believe that you're the proud owner of the Expressive E Osmos. Um, would you yeah. like to so explain? I, well, I was one of the... Uh, I think I've said I said this before. So when it got announced, I kind of one of the fortunate ones that ordered it within two minutes, three minutes of it being announced, and uh, which meant that I've got one of the first batch. 
um, uh, and so luckily, but um, uh, the first day I got it, I, I basically took one day and just sat down and played with it and fell in love with it completely. A few issues, well, not issues, but a few quirks um, that I think most of them have been talked about. Because, I mean, let's be honest, I mean, I think we're all a bit sick of seeing the Osmos everywhere because I don't think you can look anywhere on, on in the kind of synth community and not see that the second coming has occurred and um, that, you know, Osmos is indeed Jesus. Um, which, yeah. to two intense, you know, just to some extent it is. To other, to, in other ways it isn't. But, um, uh, yeah, I mean, people just are totally losing their about it and it is <laughs> it is really special and it is really good but um it you know it's not it's it, I'm, what i'm trying to say it's not all singing or dancing i think this is the thing that people need to understand it's very much a it's a, a kind of quite specific tool and it needs to be looked at in that way so i mean if nothing else i think robbie just kind of asked me on to just give a um a kind of not in a different opinion to everyone else, but give a, an honest musician's opinion about yeah. about yeah. it. You know, because Great. You know, there's plenty yeah. of stuff out there. If people want to go into lots of tech and lots of specifics about it, believe me, there are plenty better videos. Oh than yeah, to, you know. there's, a, there's a plethora, isn't there? At the minute, Absolutely. I've watched loads myself. Um, one of the things it, there's quite a few instruments that offer this. You know, this ex new levels of expression that we're getting mm -hmm. now there's like the instruments there's the roly the is the is the hark and continue or something yep. yeah, yeah, the, yeah. The, what i found with with them personally and i haven't played any of them i've got to be honest I, the roly was interesting me the most but i haven't actually played any I, the, the thing about the osmos is that you like, Ken, I think it was Kent who said you don't have to spend like three months locked in a, a dark cupboard to actually get a sound out of it. It's it's immediately accessible because it's familiarity, really. It is, but it's still a different technique. It's still a it's the the feel of the keyboard is is so. I mean, I haven't got an instrument. The instrument doesn't appeal because I don't want to start learning that way of playing. You know, kind of for me, I'm a I'm a I'm a pianist basically I'm a keyboard player and I want I want a keyboard to look like a keyboard and react like a keyboard uh, but I got a Rise Grand when that came out the uh, Rise Grand studio and um, and then I got a Rise so I was quite I kind of have a, a, an early adopter of the Rise way of doing things and because that was um, your kind of only option really there was that all the continuum and the continuum always i love the sound engine which we'll come back to later yeah. but uh it there was lots about it that didn't really appear whereas the right the the um roly was more appealing from a keyboard point of view and so kent's right when you learn to play that and you you really do learn to play it um you don't just pick up a a, a roly especially the grands because the rise and especially the Rise Two have made it easier yeah. um, uh, to to play, but the original Grands, um, you had to completely learn a new technique to get the most out of it, and actually not sound like a, a you know six year old child playing the violin for the first time. Yeah. Um, uh, because that's you know kind of when you first play a Roly, if you think you're just going to play it like a, a synth, it, you know it's a long learning curve to play it well. You know, um, you don't really have that so much with the Osmos, but you, uh, it, the action is not, it, although it looks like a normal synth action, it's not a normal synth action. And it feels, feels different. Um, and also you, you have to really learn to play accurately. I mean, the first thing I'm going to say is if you're, it, it almost, it's almost like snobbery, but you have to, to get the best out of it, you have to be a player. And you know, I think if you're not if you're not a player, you're going to be more limited as to what you can uh, achieve with it. It's made as a player's keyboard, and um, yeah, and the the limitations are 
are kind of more with you if you're yeah. not getting the most out of it. But but it, each instrument still offers its own kind of unique look and and offers possibilities. Each one has its own possibilities, doesn't it? I, I, I'd imagine it there's stuff on the Roly that you can't do on the Osmos and vice versa. Well, there's a couple of things you can do on the Roly. The, the one is the extra dimension. So basically, as you slide, as you slide your finger uh, up the key, basically that can add a dimension on the rise. You don't have that on the ground, but on the rise. You then have lift, which you kind of you kind of have on this anyway so it's mainly that dimension but the main thing is with the rolly is that you can slide do big slides essentially yeah. um yeah. and you can do that in with individual notes um there are limitations to what you can do um i mean one one of the things on the ground for example is you can play semitones together which um you kind of think okay that's not really that much of a limitation but believe me there are times when you actually want to do it but you can't do that on All the right. ground Right. Because uh, because the whole point is it's made so that you can move your finger, you know, you can slide up. And so it, the processing won't allow you to play two semitones together. Right, yeah. Um, uh, but the, the, but the, it's mainly, you know, kind of, I mean, I, I, I said before I came on, I was thinking of getting, you know, one of the rises in and to kind of do an AB because I know mm. that someone else has done that online. But... Um, but I don't want to. I don't want to say there's no comparison. But the reality is, I put it like this: the the the, the rise, and I mean the rise won't be played a lot at all, and the grand. Mm. You know, now that this is here, unless you want that, you, unless you want something very specific, using lots of sliding notes over multiple um, notes on multiple intervals. I don't. You know, I'd use I'd use this any day of the week. It's a lot more enjoyable to play. A lot more enjoyable to play. Right. So, I, I, like yourself being a, a bit of a, a, a well-known synth junkie. <laughs> Me? You see, no, yeah, you no. seem to want everything that comes out, and that's great. But Kent's also a roly owner, and I, I wonder what, what maybe uh, persuaded you to invest in one? It, you know, instead of thinking that the roly was good enough, why, why did you... It has keys, well. right? Simply it has that. keys. I mean, I, I can sit down and quite happily play that all day long. Um, the, the thing about the the rise, or the, the roly format altogether is, um, you can learn to play it and you can learn to perfect to play it, but it's not like a bicycle. You leave it for a couple of months and come back, and you're that four year old violin player trying to do. Uh, three blind mice again and it takes a few hours if not a day to get to be as good as you were you know a couple of months ago mm -hmm. yeah. um whereas you know keys are keys you know so mm. and there's something natural about um as we've mentioned before you know like doing the the slide on the you know the key for the tremolo mm. you know you know it, I do it on a keyboard that is incapable of doing anything when you do that. Like, specifically the 80, in fact. Even though you're actually pushing down, but you still feel you want to waggle your hand around. Yeah. Whereas this, you know, this is going to be the girl where it actually responds to what you do. You know, so, yeah. hence I accidentally bought two. Oh, you got two? Yeah, apparently I bought <laughs> I two. I didn't know you got two. Yeah. Right. Ah, <laughs> uh, we'll have to have a jam next time I'm... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, there'll be enough to go around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Live jam. Yeah. Great, yeah. Uh, right, so we're still waiting for Robbie. This is a bit... I, I'm a little bit concerned yeah, he's just said now. he's still struggling at the moment in the chat. So he's oh, still, is he? Still is he in the just chat? In, in life in general? Or just... <laughs> well, it all links together, doesn't it? <laughs> it all becomes one issue. So, Ty, think... you were saying that you, uh, you've you really enjoyed uh, using the Osmo so far, but you've not really had the time that you would well, the, the like thing... to dedicate to it. Yeah, the thing is, the reality of the situation is, as a, you know, kind of a, uh, you know, working composer, the thing that we never really have is, is time. And all it really is, is so when it first arrived, I, I spent a whole day. And I mean... For me to spend anyone that knows me to just spend a whole day with any synth is uh, is 
unusual and a real luxury and um uh but i i literally had no choice because the thing is because you can because every every preset that you when you go through it um it has so much more than just the notes you know a normal synth you can just skip through the patches and you just know what you, you're getting with this there's so much that's going on in the engine and mm. in the controls and in the different dimensions and parameters that you 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 have to give each each preset a, um time and so there's 500 in there so i spent all day going through them and the, the sign of any great synth is when you find i mean this is the same for any synth if you find a patch and you suddenly look at the time and you've been playing it for the last 45 minutes yeah and it's it's just the same patch. and the problem is with this thing it is full of them which is a yeah. good job because i mean you know kind of later on if you want to get into the editing side of things uh it becomes a different kind of beast you know it's one of the I don't want to say one of the negatives because it's not yeah. a negative. It's a different way of looking at, but for the time being, unless you really want to go deep and get into the world of, um, formal eye and, uh, computer editing from the later eighties, early nineties, <laughs> um, you kind of, it's more of a kind of preset machine where you can tweak rather than start from scratch. You can start from scratch, but you have to take a step 30 years back yeah to be able to do that i believe so well one of the one of the things i was going to ask then is is, uh, is it possible just using the unit itself to create a sound from scratch or is is it mainly edits to the 500 presets because that that wasn't clear to me it seemed as though you may need like external software to actually start you know sound design no i mean at the moment at the moment it is literally they're they're called macros um and you'll get uh a whole series of parameters that are set up for that preset and you can mess with those and you can mess with the effects and you can mess with the um sensitivity of the parameters and what the parameters are associated with you can do all of that in the machine yeah but starting from scratch you really kind of you start from a preset um and you know kind of the certain things that you have to the, the problem is with this synth is that a lot of people seem to be missing the point of what it is and what it can do and what it can't do because there's plenty it can't do there's plenty that a normal synth would be a lot better for but this can definitely go in 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 areas and dimensions that other synths don't go in and you know, I, I was saying earlier that, you know, there are, there are people online basically going, you know, does it have any good piano sounds? <laughs> and, you know, it's, if that's what you want, yeah, you know, what are the drum sounds like on it? If that's what you want, this isn't, this this is not that kind of synth. I saw, um, I saw somebody in a video asking about drum sounds. I thought, surely that's not where yeah, you Yeah, no, it's not, it's not. But that's, it? but this is, I, oh, I don't know whether to... I don't know, really. I don't know what to think. I'll be honest. With you. I'll be totally honest with you. Personally, I don't know what to think because the, the there's the side of me that's going. Oh, you know, when I was when I was young and there was no such thing as the internet, I probably asked some questions in synth shops that were were absolutely ridiculous. Do you know what I mean? Made no sense whatsoever. I'm sure. I'm sure. As I walked out, they basically just went, you know, and as I walked out because asking stupid questions. So I kind of I kind of I'm quite forgiven from that point of view. But then my argument is if you're looking at something as specific as this, surely you must, you know, get some concept of this is not your average sense that's, that's going to have your average sounds in. There's no pianos. I, I'm saying there's no pianos. There's nothing vaguely resembling a piano. There's there's no GM drum kits. There's no it's not what it's about. You know, the whole point yeah. about this is, you know, there's not even envelopes. This is the thing, you know, kind of people start going, well, you know, where in the macros, why can't you change the envelopes? And think, some and some yeah. macros, you can change uh, aspects of it. You can change the attack yeah. or you could change the release. But the main thing about this is the whole point of the synth is the fact that the the, the way you shape the key shapes the envelope. Yeah, I was going to say, that's the envelope, yeah. isn't it? A soft touch would be a slow attack, a fast... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and the thing is, it's like, I mean, I can't even put into words at how uh, how sensitive it is. I mean, I know everybody everybody that's played one of these, and, you know, there's, there's people in the chat that actually have them, and I'm sure they absolutely agree, that 
you, you until you actually play one, you can't actually put into words how how sensitive the the keys are in terms of how much even just the slightest slightest touch actually starts introducing the attack of the sound or then when you tap it how you've got this sound which is really really slow you know kind of based on you playing it but when you actually tap it it has a really fast attack and the way they interact it, until you actually play it you don't know the other thing that's not really explained is the actual how is how is the keyboard action different to a normal keyboard action which it is so basically if i I'll turn the volume down actually so you can't hear it if i oh ah. oh Ah, uh, we've got a new, a, a new arrival. Don't, don't let me stop you hanging. Let me just get rid of this. Well, can you hear us? I can hear you now. Oh, thank God! As John T Anderson once so eloquently sung, my—I didn't mean a word of it. Giddy aunt. <laughs> no, I've, I've been watching the show. You've been doing fantastic, Ben. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Sorry was, to kind of well, cut my in. chopped liver. So, uh, I just wanted, but, but before I hand over to you, Rob, because oh, you no. do it far better than I will, I just wanted to ask Ty about this sensitivity on the keys. You know, like it, yeah, it's ultra on. sensitive. Yeah. So, do you reckon that, that that makes the machine more suitable for studio work then? Because in a live situation, you don't no, want to be. No, you know, no. It, it's still. No. It's, the, thing is, the thing is that you need to understand about this as an, as an instrument. It is it's it's an instrument yeah it's like turning around and going so a violin is that is a violin only suitable for studio or <laughs> is it yeah. for live as well the reality is is that the, i think the reason that you know I'm, i've joked about the fact that people keep saying what a game changer it is and all that kind of thing but the reason it it's different and this is this is a thing for me is the fact that it genuinely 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 feels like a, a proper a proper instrument this is not just a synth or just a keyboard yeah. or just a this is something that this is hopefully going to lead to something where people will become known as osmos players rather than just keyboard players you know in the yeah. same way that you know if someone was really good back in the day uh, you know, playing clav, they got known as a as a clav player. Yeah, do you yeah. know what I mean? That you know, or a Hammond player. Yeah. You'd have a Hammond yeah. player. Yeah. That's fantastic. Uh, that. And I don't, I don't know whether it's going to be the Osmos or son of Osmos or you know, kind of grandmother of Osmos. Mm. But it's the kind of thing where you know that someone will be coming into a session that is specifically bought in to play Osmos because they're a virtuoso on that instrument. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, definitely. And and so and so so it does genuinely feel like a real made of wood, even though it's plastic, proper instrument. Um mm. but in terms of sensitivity, I mean I don't even know if you can see that. I've turned the volume right down. Uh, no, I I'll show you what the difference is in the action. So basically if you just play it like that, it's a normal action. It's quite springy, which I have to say one of the things it isn't so good for is that if you start doing doing that if you start trailing on one note with two fingers, the the speed coming back up isn't quite as fast as a really good, a really good normal traditional action. It doesn't recover quite as fast. But right. to be fair, <laughs> that's kind of not what it's intended for. But that, but basically, so you play the normal note, and then when you get to about there, it stops. There's a stop, and then from there onwards, I don't know whether you can see this at all, but from there onwards. There's about another centimetre of play. But it doesn't feel like aftertouch. It's a lot spongier than aftertouch. But the main thing is, with aftertouch, I don't know what other people like, it never quite feels like you've got a real control over aftertouch. It's either kind of it's either kind of not on or it's on. <laughs> the whole point with this is you've got a centimetre which feels very controlled with exactly the right resistance. So you've got the initial note you play... With the, that you can shape and then you've got another level which can be assigned to whatever where you have complete control of that so if i'd I imagine show... that feels a little bit like after t uh, force touch on the apple devices you know you press it once it, and then you press it in deeper it's for another kind level. of like that except the level of control you have is is huge compared yeah to that. yeah I, I know what you mean but you get yeah. a certain but it means that so if i just rest my finger on that can you hear that Mm -hmm. Okay, if everyone just yeah, shut up, Kent. <laughs> so if I and that's me just resting my finger, and now if I gradually, yeah, 
And if I pull it off again, I mean, yeah, said that before. I'm gonna say. <laughs> so I can just do that, just. And so, and so that's how much you can actually shape the entire thing just with the pressure of your finger. And then as I kind of showed there, I mean, this is the thing that everyone knows that anyone that's watching the videos gets sick of hearing Eastern scales now. Um, but it means that you can shape it. If I, if I bend the note up. Which means that, I mean, if I just... But the thing is, the, the the thing is with it is that, as well as the fact that you can you can um, uh, bend the notes to, to do vibrato, and then when you press do after touch, you get the tremolo and speed controlled by the controlled by the mod mod wheel. But you can then they have something really special which is is called what's it called something glide, I can't remember what it's called now. But basically pressure means glide. pressure glide. Thank you very much. And what that does is it means that you can specify certain intervals and um, it will only react within that interval. So the fact that I'm playing a low note down here means it won't have anything to do with the portamento and the slide happening up here. But you can completely control the speed of it by how much pressure that you apply to it and how fast you apply that pressure. So if I wanted to slide up to, oh, forget that one now. If I wanted to slide up to the A flat here, if I do it fast, it does it quickly. If I do it, if I put less pressure on, and you can completely control the different the slide. So it's I, I can't you know I mean we've all we've I've sat and watched all these videos like everyone else has but until you actually sit down and and play it it's really hard to explain how um, uh, it's a level of expression that I, I never I genuinely never thought I'd get out of a keyboard I didn't think it would be possible but uh, and now it is the, the biggest problem I had was the day after that I managed to get to play it. And the only reason I'm not using on the, the, the project that I'm on is the fact if ever there's a project that <laughs> it's literally <laughs> no need for anything like an Osmos. Um, uh, and so I haven't been able to play it. But the problem genuinely was the, the next morning I woke up and playing a normal keyboard. And you can guess what I'm going to say. <laughs> After one day of playing it, I'm trying to do the shaping. I'm trying to wobble the notes. And it's, it's you know, so bearing in mind, okay, that's one day. I was wobbling the notes then. That looked well dodgy. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> But you know, you kind of think I've been playing. I've been playing since I was, you know, whatever age I was, nine, ten. I've been playing for forty odd years, and after one day with this, I'm already sitting there and trying to adapt the technique that I've honed for forty odd years wow. to do this because it's yeah. just, um, mm. yeah, yeah. From that point of view, it's incredible. There are issues, but we can come to the issues another time. But you know. But I mean, some and, and the other thing is about the synth engine. So actually, before I carry on with all of this, I think we should just let Robbie have his say and do everything. No, no, that no, no. To do. no, no, no. Go on, Rob. No. It's, uh... no, go for it. Come on, Robbie. It's not the same show without you. <laughs> no, no offense, Ben. No offense, no, Ben. Fine. You did a great job. I, I, I'm quite happy with that. Oh, I, no, I, I apologize profusely to to everyone that's watching and to you guys, and thank you for doing such a great job. Because um, I, I I just stuck it on my phone because if I didn't have some other distraction in here. I would be just throwing things. So all I can say is we tested uh, Ty's connection and everything about an hour and a half before the show just to make it sure that everything was okay. And it was, and it, everything was fine. And I didn't touch the computer at all. I went downstairs, had my dinner, came back upstairs, sat down. Ty comes in early and, or Ben, sorry, Ben comes in early and I can't hear him. And I thought, oh, he's probably not switched something. It turns out it was me. 
and I have no idea what it was other than I've <clears throat> eventually changed browser and that now seems to be working fine but the thing was and this is Friday the 13th all over so I'm frantically thinking right well there's clearly something wrong with my audio uh I know what I'll do I'll get my MacBook out and I'll plug my interface and the camera into that and I'll just do everything from the MacBook that'll be fine now you all know that I sip from a large pint glass of weak orange squash right Mm. during the show and it sits just over there which is also where my um hub for my macbook is and i was just trying to retrieve the cable to plug into my macbook so that i could just connect everything into there and i, I said to myself don't knock the orange squash over that would be really stupid wouldn't it okay but can i can i did you knock the orange squash over <laughs> <laughs> one entire pint of unsipped orange squash with ice cubes <laughs> over my desk on which oh, on which is sitting my keyboard the jeopardy oh. time <clears throat> yeah <laughs> <laughs> on, on here is sitting my keyboard my trackpad my macbook my oh. mini freak my stream deck my micro freak my speakers my usb hubs one pint of orange squash, half of it on my desk, the other half in the puddle underneath me. I'm st- I've still got damp feet. Was the glass okay? The glass was f- fine. That's all right. Just checking. That's all right. Then. Okay. Yeah. And there's nobody else in the house. Wow. Wife's gone over her mates for a glass of wine. Son's gone out with his mates. I'm mopping this up frantically. There's a knock at the door. I think, who the fucking hell was that? My son. It's my son coming at the door. And had I... And none of this happened. He would have shat his pants, literally. He's like, I need the toilet. I need the toilet. Oh, fuck's sake. So, yeah. So I've gone, I've gone through all the kitchen towel. I had to go and get towels out of the airing cupboard to mop all of this stuff up. And You used all, all the, the toilet. You used all the toilet roll. Kind of, oh my, that was my next thing. Did, On a separate you... but related incident. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm Did literally sitting the, in what I for, hope is orange squash. Forget forget the orange squash. Yeah. You should see the toilet wall. Uh, <laughs> Did you that, piss yourself and this is just a cover story? I wish it was. I oh. really wish it was because I would not... Oh. Yeah, with somebody who's got a dodgy ticker, this is not the right thing. I'm not, well, uh. I'm not having you on, Robbie. I'm not having, I know I already said this at the beginning of the show. I, honest, I honestly wish that w- uh, us three... When you were having your moment before, I wish it had been recorded because honestly, it was amazing. It was like oh. when the realization hit me that I had to do it because you weren't here. It well, was just amazing. I was just hoping, that, oh please, please Ben, 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 you know what to do. You'll do it. You'll do. It. And of course, you did, and you were fine. It wasn't me. No, it was Kent. I would have just still be sat here. Yeah. <laughs> Kent said, Don't you think you better do something? I thought, yeah, better. Oh, yeah. Dear. <laughs> But honestly, it's... How about that? It, me? Useful. Literally. <laughs> don't, don't go too far, Ken. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> not, well, not, I'm not useful, but a, oh, a little oh. help. So I'm surrounded by damp towels. Not, not first. Often, yeah, um, <laughs> I'm surrounded by <laughs> bits of equipment upside down, hopefully drying out. Um, I'm hoping my MacBook's okay. I don't think... Hey, if there's ever ever a reason to get one of these kind of keyboard covers for your your laptop keyboard, I found that out today. That's wow. I think that saved that that MacBook's life. Uh, we'll send Noah yeah. over; he'll clean that up. No oh, problem. oh, it's just it was just like, oh. So, and then I think I didn't realise until Ben said something about Friday the Thirteenth. Oh yeah, that thing is. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. So I'm Brilliant so sorry. Start. I'm no, I'm so sorry. Um, no. I, I apologise. Well, Ben covered admirably. He did. No. He did absolutely. <laughs> I'm just wondering. Oh dear. See, um, everything I touch is just like falling. I've got to. Drive I, I just wasn't sure what the schedule was or anything. So I'm asking things, thinking, is this supposed to come at the end? Or... <laughs> oh no, there's, there is no schedule really. Right. It was, but yeah. Anyway, thank you. <sighs> Can I go home now? Oh, I don't know. I am. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't got to go uh, far then. Oh, no. Yeah, right. Do you know that there's a bottle of wine downstairs? I cannot wait to dive into that. Don't knock it over, will you? No. <laughs> See, that? now that would have been worse. At least this was mostly water. Oh, dear, oh, dear. 
Anyway, so yeah, you were saying, um, where were we? Well, uh, Ty had just been giving us a, a, a demo of the mm. Osmos, um, yeah. mainly fancy about a the Turkish delight now for some reason. The, the sensitivity, <laughs> of, <laughs> the sensitivity of the keys. It did sound remarkably like the June soundtrack. It was great. Yeah, that I was one of the things I was going to say actually. One of the videos that I watched, he said, "Yeah, by today's standards, five hundred presets isn't isn't a lot, really." Uh, it, it it seems plenty to me, but oh, they were saying no, it wasn't a lot. Honestly, uh, can I just uh, uh, don't stop me? <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not. But, just, but honestly, the point the point was is that it's like five hundred different instruments almost. You can you could can, master each one and yeah, that's you that's know. you've you've just hit the nail on the head. Is the fact that for for the, uh, unlike a normal keyboard where essentially um, it's one keyboard with just lots of sounds that come out of you've hit the nail on the head is because it's so it, it the way it interacts with you and all we're talking about by the way at the moment is as a sound engine the way yeah. that the sound engine and the instrument interact with you and the way that you play it and it almost becomes a different instrument every time you choose mm. um a, a, a different sound basically so you're exactly right so all this I mean, look, we all know that how much rubbish you read on the internet. And for everyone, uh, there's loads of stuff out there where people are being incredibly knowledgeable and um, honest and, and, you know, open about what a great instrument it is. And then you just get complete idiots who don't know, they know nothing about nothing, talking, spouting crap. And uh, I can only apologise. I know, that, I know, <laughs> but I know that's the internet. But when when it's something that's you know kind of it's it's just idiotic some of the things that you 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 hear. And um, yeah, how these how these manufacturers that have spent you know kind of blood, sweat, and tears making these things come to market, how they don't just you know lose their, I have no idea. Mm. But um, I, th I think they do. They just ma manage to not display that publicly. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I, I, um, when you say it's got 500 presets, how, is, is there space for you to build your own and store yeah, these? There's, there's 128 user uh, okay. patches as well. But again, all of this is completely, I mean, it's almost like the elephant in the room, as we, we, we said, talked about earlier, is that the elephant in the room is the fact that if you want to start from scratch, the, the, the engine itself, the Arc and Audio engine, is, um, is, is from, a, from a different era. Mm in terms of the the interface and it's not your average synthesizer engine the whole point of this synth is you know i mean i've had some people i know that have been claiming oh i don't really like it doesn't sound very analog it's not an analog synth mm. it's good it's good that it's not an analog synth it's a digital synth through and through and it can do subtractive synth synthesis not amazingly but it can do it um, but it's mainly about physical modeling. It's mainly about FM. It's mainly about all things digital. It's all, it's, it can do granular. It's all about, it's all everything digital. And it's not trying to mm. pretend to be anything other than that. Um, in terms of, you know, we were saying about there's no pianos. That's because people are going, well, physical modeling, you know, there are physical modeling pianos out there. Yes, there are. But the, it's a different kind of physical modeling going into areas that, um, this doesn't go into yet. Mm. Perfectly possible it could, but it doesn't into yet. This is, I mean, as an instrument, as a sound, it's an exact. I mean, I think I said to you, Robbie, it's 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 an exact cross between FM, uh, all of the VL, the, the VL synths, the physical modeling from that, and, and Z1 and Prophecy and everything that physical modeling did, because it does that standing on its head. That's what it specialises in, um, and everything FM. It's got a lot of the C15. The um, mm -hmm. uh, it's got a lot of that in it, and and a bit of subtractive synths in it. But you know that isn't where it's you know the, the if you want it to sound analog, it's there's a few patches, but generally it's struggling. But the main thing is if you really want to go into the depths of what it can do, it can do some very 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 clever stuff. Mm. It's the it's almost impenetrable the actual um, editor, and what I'm hoping is, and I'm sure they will, is that now that this engine is going to a wider uh, uh, number of people mm. because at the end of the day the continuum which is basically has to all intents and purposes a very similar if not the same engine the continuum is very much a niche you know kind of machine and they wouldn't have sold many and so the time money and effort to to develop that editor probably wasn't there but mm. now that this is going out to mass market 
well, more of a mass market. Um, I think they will have to spend more time, money and effort to make the editor um, more accessible and easier to use. Because at the moment, if, if you've not looked at how you actually do it, oh my gosh, it's literally like, it's like a modular synth, uh, like a, it's like an old fashioned modular. So you've got a whole load of sections going up. So there's destinations, sources, and you basically patch it in where you want the filter to go to or where with what you want to go to the outputs. So that's very old school modular. Mm. Sounds Except a bit like the environment editor in Logic. <laughs> yeah, but, but the difference is where rather than just putting a pin in there, you actually put in a formula. Oh, <laughs> so for God. each pin, it's, you know, Z equals seven <laughs> linked to. And then you have formulas that then do cross-generational formulas that this formula applies to that formula, which is going into there. But it, it's, so it's basically, it's a complete science lesson. Mm. Um, but I also have to turn around and go, you know, I, I mean, initially, uh, so I'd never, I'd never, I'd never really looked into this engine that much because I didn't have a continuum. But I was aware of the concept and I'd said throw away few weeks ago oh yeah well you know i had to do all that kind of stuff on, on alchemy and loads of mac stuff when i was doing <laughs> avant-garde stuff when i was at uni and yeah but you, it's when you then look at it again you suddenly realize oh but that was the late 80s and that was all <laughs> that was the only option and now that mm. we can we don't we've never we haven't looked at that for so long you know come back to it mm. going oh okay they're beautiful presets and i'll just mess with the macros and then you save it and then it's fine and then you don't have to gotcha. look at the nasty you don't have to look at the nasty editor mm. um but I... luckily it sounds it sounds amazing as long as you only want it to do what it's made to do yeah you yeah. know so on the so you, you've got the keyboard and yep. to the left you've got the screen there's a couple yep. of sliders i believe yep and and what else is there are they just literally controls to navigate through the little display that's on there. Yeah, so it's 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 basically four rotaries with push button along the bottom and two go up, and um, it's one of those things that once you get used to it, it's it's classic. <laughs> once you get used to it, it's actually really easy to fly yeah. around it. Um, I as I said, I only really played it for the first day and it was, and and literally for the last hour since um, since we spoke. Uh, it's really easy. It's really easy. It's it's not difficult. The, the first thing you have to decide when you switch it on is: do you want to use the audio engine or do you want to use the as a, a controller? If you're going to use it as a controller, it's a good MPE controller. I've not I've not used it as that, so I have no knowledge of it. But mm -hmm. to, it seems to be a good um, poly aftertouch <coughs> controller, good MP, MPE controller. As a normal controller, it's fine. But as I said earlier, the the the, the action is a bit spongy if you're just going to use it for normal normal controller. But it's perfectly usable. But it it um, it's not what it's made for. Again, it keeps coming back to use it for what it's made for, not trying to do something it shouldn't be doing. Um, so once you choose the engine, uh, the control, the only control you then over, have over the 500 presets is a series of macros that are written for each preset, uh, the effects and uh, the setup for how the keyboard reacts to everything. And as you say, right. a mod a mod wheel and a kind of, well, mod slider and a pitch slider. Gotcha. Um, but 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 that's it, it's, and it's but it's so easy to use. It's so easy to use. But and what about connectivity at the back? Yeah, two pedals, stereo out, uh, USB. That's basically it, I think. Don't think there's a lot else, is there? Cool. I don't think there is. It's by pin as well, isn't it? It's a <laughs> yeah, there. Uh, I was just looking I'll, at a picture, no, I'll, and I'll tell you because that surprised me that there was yeah, five pin MIDI, five pin. given yeah the yeah. You know the, um, the I, I don't know. Does five pin MIDI support MPE and MIDI two point oh? I mean, there's well, so the much only data. Reason, the only, yeah, but the only reason they'll do it is is if you if it does it on multi channels because basically for for things that aren't MPE compatible, you can do certain stuff where you know it sends out sixteen channels. Yeah, so, and there is a mode that you can do that. So you could you could do that. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but, just looking at the. Um, yeah. at the back of it there yeah and that's it that's that's all the the connectivity is just that's all it. there on the left hand that's side that's all you need yeah. i can't i honestly can't figure out i can't think of what else you would actually need mm. really. yeah because everything's there that was the one the, the argument i've i was so 
I told you about this earlier. Um, we, I thought it would be a good idea on Gear News if, if myself and Robin Vincent, who have slightly opposing views, um, and we, you know, we're, we're very amicable about it, but he he doesn't quite see what the fuss is all about. I think this is pretty revolutionary, and and uh, I don't like the word game changing, but you know, it's it's a new thing, and I, I'm, I'm excited by it. Um, and I've completely forgot what I was going to say. This is Friday the Thirteenth kicking in again. Um, about you have the yes no yeah the, yeah the, the, and one of my arguments for the Osmos was that if you want to do you know some kind of uh, expression rich performance on a traditional synthesizer or keyboard whether it's you know modern like like the Polybrute or whether it's a DX7 or whatever um, you can see where my points of reference are. Um, if you want to do the pitch bendy, you know, morphy, wibbly wobbly stuff, your left hand comes off the keyboard and it goes to ribbon, pitch bend, mod wheel, knob, whatever it might be. So you, you, one hand is off the keyboard. Whereas with the Osmos, you can do all of that and still have both hands on the keyboard because but it's not even that. That isn't even the only argument. The argument. No, is, not saying it's the only one. No, but it's I'm one. just saying. And one, the main argument is, and it's a really simple argument, is the stuff you can do on this that you can't do on a normal keyboard. Yeah. That's mm. the bottom line for me, is the fact that, you know, any instrument that gives you something that you can't do on anything else, where's the argument? Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? It's like turning around and saying, a keyboard is a keyboard is a keyboard is a keyboard. I like keyboards, therefore I'm only going to play keyboards. But that's like turning around and going, okay, so I, I like the violin. Okay. So therefore, there shouldn't be a viola. There shouldn't be a cello. Mm. There shouldn't yeah, be a double yeah, bass. Yeah. There shouldn't be a viol. I like I like flutes, but there shouldn't be a clarinet. There shouldn't be an oboe. <laughs> you know, ev everything's different. You know, the way the way that I've been the way that I, I've been taught and thing is when you're writing for orchestra is that every instrument is different. The whole point of, of an orchestra is that everything does what it does better than something else that can't do that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And and you you're not going to write certain lines for a bassoon that you, you would write for a, a viola. Yeah. You know yeah. you're not you're you're going to write completely different. Yeah. And and so therefore it's exactly the same with this. This isn't trying to be well. It shouldn't be. Mm. This is what annoys me when people are trying to make it out to be a an all singing or dancing. It's not. This is very good at doing what it does. Don't try and take it out of out of that realm. Make mm. it do what it does. Well, it's like it's like getting a sports car and then complaining that the boot's not big enough. <laughs> you know, well, it's a sports car. I haven't bought it for the boot. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Absolutely. Yeah, I, th I think you know people have got to come at this from a new new direction. Yes, it's got a traditional style piano keyboard, but it's so much more going on underneath that, and so, it is so much more. And it is, as you say, it is uh, an instrument. And yeah. I know that sounds like a really silly thing to say when we, all we ever talk about is instruments, but this is an instrument in its own right. Yeah. Rather than being just another synthesizer. Yeah. 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 E e exactly that. It's, yeah. um, but in terms of, but even in, you know, when it tries to be, I'm trying to think for some. I mean, that's. It's not that you know. It's a nice, it's a nice sound, mm. but it's not you know something like that you couldn't get from other synths. You no. know, there's plenty of synths that can do that. But the fact that I can, I mean, I was saying earlier that I can completely shape that sound from I'm shaping each of those notes. that on a no. normal synth no. and you can't just do that with normal poly aftertouch no because it's not achievable unless mm. you do it as multiple passes you can't yeah. do that live so therefore just by its very nature it's doing something that can't be done elsewhere yeah surely yeah. that's a good thing how can you oh, argue absolutely. against that no exactly yeah um but i think yeah what i was trying the point i was trying to make was that if even if you're uh if, if you're a competent player it just it just gives you so much more at your fingertips 
than any other you know sort of keyboard based instrument go, if, i mean I'm, let me just find something <laughs> So something like that. You've got mm. a lovely. Actually, that isn't the one I'm looking for. I'm looking for. Oh, this is the one. If you, you have to really listen carefully for this, but this is all to do with the physical modelling side of things. So if you hit it quite percussively, but if you actually. <laughs> It's almost like you're stretching the string. Mm. But if you... Try and do that on a, anything else. Wow. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, you, yeah. You, you, you can't do it. I want one. FM? Does FM? You love the dog barking. <laughs> <laughs> But again, it's all you're shaping. The, you don't need ADSRs because you're shaping it with your with your fingers. Mm. Um, I'm trying to think of This is more like a, a more kind of traditional. But again, if I just play it normally. But you do have to learn, well, you do it still have to play it. It's a bit of the rolly technique where you have to learn to play it accurately because mm. it's very easy to what you start to realize is how lazy you get from a technique point of view yeah because i was really lucky when i was taught to play piano i had a piano teacher that was absolutely obsessed with you hit the the, the middle of the note you right. didn't you know kind of because it's it's really easy you get lazy and when you dig into a note you automatically just push it slightly one way or the other and if you do that with this obviously mm. you sound like you're drunk basically <laughs> so it's um I'm just trying to... Oh that's good. I mean, I'm just these are just some that I could stuck together. So so it's just a marimba. So And how are you bringing that in? That's just with pressure just with pressure. Just with pressure. So, so if you so again if I play like that All I'm doing is pressing, 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 and as I press, it gets faster. Or you can play it percussively. That's the other thing. They actually. Yeah. So I was about to ask you I've heard that you can play the backs of the keys. You can. <laughs> <laughs> Does that give you a different thing to no, play? It, it doesn't, but it does make things like glissing incredibly easy. Oh, of course. Of course, you can't gliss. You can't gliss yeah. dramatically. Yeah. So now you can. Because so can... I was... One of the first things... One of the first <laughs> things I thought about this when you know, when it first came you know to our attention a few years ago was like, either there's a really good reason why the keys are the way they are, or it's just some, you know, Design, you know, somebody's gone. Well, oh, yes, it would be nice, but clearly it's functional. It's, it's, it's it, yeah. What, what what you need to understand. So when you see the keyboard, see the black bits. Yeah, sorry. I'm just bringing so it the 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 black bits where it meets the white bits, that's not all one piece. So basically, when you actually move, I'm going to turn the volume down so you can. So when you actually wobble, mm -hmm. if I do it down here, you might be able to see it better. If I do it there, you might see it better. So when I wobble. Well, you can't really see the the key yeah from left to right it the key is physically moving from left to right the white bit but the but the black bit 
is not connected in the same way. It's not one uh, completely uh, formed uh, bit. So it's it's got it's got where the black meets the white, the white actually has movement either side. Gotcha. This is one of the reasons it's caused a bit of a it's not an issue, it's a characteristic, shall we say. <laughs> uh which it's is when you when you play certain notes, um and if you bend them slightly to one side, obviously when you play, if you play a, the, the note directly next to it, the note you played first is wanting to come up as the note you're playing is going down. Because oh, okay. physically, physically, it's moving. Yeah. So basically, what you do is you, on certain notes, you will get. If I, you might be able to hear it. If I get a, no, because you got the volume turned down. Oh no, no, I don't mean in the. I mean the actual <laughs> click. Oh sorry. <laughs> I mean, yeah, actual... yeah, I know. <laughs> All right. Do you know? Do you know what, Robbie? Don't Cut bother. Me a break. Let's put him go, back in his cage. Go, yeah, go and make yourself a, go and make yourself some squash. <laughs> I used to have a poly sticks that would Come do back, that. Come back, Ben. Come on, Ben. Come on, Ben. Come back to it. Um, and so, so, so physically, physically, the uh, the keys kind of click a bit. Yes. And basically, j- joking aside, Kent, you're absolutely right. What it actually reminds you of playing a, a, a polysynth or just any synth from like kind of late 70s early 80s where there's that kind of clicky keyboard action there was yeah, certain, the keys worn out yeah yeah you get you get there's that one the g and the a quite often when i play yeah yeah it gets a click and I, so the first thing i did after you know on that first day when i got it was basically just put online going is anyone else having this kind of um thing with it or is my my keyboard you know kind of screwed and everyone turned and went, no, it's basically it's just a part of it. And one of the guys from there um, actually got in touch and just said, yeah, it's just a, it's just a mm. design. They, I mean, it's physics. If you've if you've mm. moved a key and it's it's moved slightly over, it can't suddenly not be there when the next key goes yeah. down. So it's yeah. you know, but you 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 soon get used to it. You don't notice it. Um, so it's, uh, but yeah, I mean, it's it. I, I'm with you, Robbie, in terms of when you turn around. And, I hate the word game changer because it's. You know, it's used so frequently these days over things that absolutely are not game changers. Mm. Um, but this is this is the nearest thing to a game changer in a in in quite a while. Yeah, when I mean, I don't, you know, I don't think it's going to replace traditional keyboards no, and I, traditional synths. Yeah, it's not no, what it's for. It's no. not what it's for. This and the, the other thing is, is that the sounds on this because it is digital. Um, it's a it's a flavour. That's mm. what it is. It's a flavor synth. I mean, it's like anyone that went and bought this as their only synth, unless you literally do want to become, you know, to just become an Osmos player. You're not a synth player. You're just an Osmos mm. player. If you're a synth player, um, this should never be your only synth. This is this is one of those luxurious synths that's your, you know, second, third, maybe fourth synth. Yeah. And and it adds a flavor. It adds a technique. It does things that the other three before it can't do or you know i i mean i've always i've always kind of um been been one for i just want synths to to do one thing well back in mm-hmm. the day when i had you know no money and hardly any gear i would rather buy one thing that did one thing well yeah you know i would buy when it was all you know nothing was there was no computers it was all hardware sequences and boxes i bought a piano module i bought a bass you you know a synth that just did bass mm-hmm. i bought a chord machine you know i they all did one thing well and i think it's just adding now it's just adding flavors and adding colors and the engine in this is is it's very digital and you know the, it's beautiful though for what it for mm. doing what it does mm. if you turn around to me and said i want some big rich analog cs80 type sounds the you know this you'd ne- although there is actually a, hang on a minute there's a cs80 thing i mean it's really not great but um i'll be the judge of that no it's not great <laughs> <laughs> But, right. but people turn around and can't, and can't do analog at all. I mean, it's 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 analog esque, but it's yeah. not analog. But you no. know, it, it wouldn't it kick just it out of bed, no. No, but there's some. Oh, this is this is a beautiful sound. And all of 
that's just controlled with um, just with aftertouch. Uh, yeah, anyway, it's just, I mean, there's lots of... Go online, there's, there's people who spend... I've done loads of videos going through the presets on here. Mm. It's a beautiful machine. How, nice. how are you going to actually work this into your your overall workflow? Because one thing that I, I can't remember where I saw or heard it the other day was uh, somebody had asked, how do you edit the MIDI data on this? If you're recording this into your door, how, how are you editing the MIDI data? And basically they said, don't. Don't. Yeah. I mean, realistically, you're not going to. It's, it's again, it's... It's a bit like, and it's a bit like the C15. Do you remember the C15 yes. didn't have MIDI on it? Indeed. I mean, yeah. now it's got MIDI on it, but um, uh, so for years it didn't have MIDI on it because it, it's, you know, it's kind of like an instrument. It's like turning around and going. If can you imagine if I came in with it? What are those things called with um, six strings? Guitar. Oh, those. If what? I walked a, a, what? a guitar, have you heard of that? <laughs> no. It's pieces of wood. They're pieces of wood that have bits of metal. Uh, they yeah, sound yeah. crap, but you know they. Yeah. Anyway, um, it, 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 idiots but, always have them, don't they? Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Called a what? Yeah. Guitar. Google it. Google. Oh, okay. It. Oh, Alexa, dear. what's a guitar? No. Um, <laughs> so, uh, so anyway, but it's it, what you've just said is kind of like that. Can you imagine if someone came in going, so the guitar, how, how are you going to uh, incorporate this into your setup? Uh, uh, oh, God, shut up, Alexa. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, the guitar, you are a moron if you don't know what yeah, a guitar yeah, yeah, yeah. is. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> sorry. Uh, and so, uh, but it's like that, you know, kind of, it's, I'm, I'm not really seeing this as a machine that I will be, um, re recording loads of MIDI info into into the door at all. I see it as basically just like a proper instrument. I know yes. we keep using that word, but do you know what I mean? Like no, a live, yeah, no. a live yeah. instrument that yeah, you, yeah. Could, you record parts on. But again, it's coming back to that thing of I can do that because you know, I'm fortunate enough to be a, a, a player. I, I yeah. do think <laughs> anyone that buys into this and is, you know, is more of a, a, a programmer, I don't think you you would get the best. You'd get the mm. best from it. Mm. Yeah. You know. Yeah, so I mean, it's something uh, you know. I, I think at the, I'm gonna, I want to ask you about this in a minute itself. But at, at the price, I'm thinking I, I really ought to get in on this because that is you know, seventeen nine nine for something like this. I think is you know somewhat of a bargain, but especially when you consider what's coming out or has come out in, in the last say year that is twice that um, and doesn't have this degree of expression uh, and, and certainly doesn't have an engine that is as, as powerful as, as this. Um, do you, uh, I don't know, what's, can you see different versions of the Osmos coming, like uh, bigger versions, smaller versions, or is, is 49 just about right in terms of the number of keys? Look, I mean, from my point of view, if I had my way, every synth that came up would have 88 notes. Sure. Ever. Um, but realistically, I'd love it to be 61. If I'm totally honest, I'd love it to be 61. But I'd, mm -hmm. again, I find anything less than that kind of uh, limiting. Only th that's just kind of what I was brought up on, really. Mm -hmm. um, will there be a will there be a bigger one? I, I, uh, there could be. <laughs> I think I you know there 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 could be, and I think there'd be there'd be good grounds for it. And if they did, would I buy it? I mean, literally in an instant. I mean, <laughs> it wouldn't even be it wouldn't even be a conversation to be had. Um, in terms of the price, I, I mean, I'm with you in terms of, I mean, I'm really lucky because I was one of the very first lot. I got mine for less than 1100 quid. Wow. Because, uh, you know, kind of, um, so I mean, at that, well, yeah, honestly, <laughs> well, no, at that, honestly, I, I can't, it really is a steal. I mean, absolute mm. steal. I think seven, nine, seven, uh, 1799 for what you get is, is, is really good. 
and I, yeah. uh, you, I, you know, you should never use words like bargain when you're talking about that kind of money. But realistically, compared to other Com- things yeah, you could comparatively, buy. Comparatively, yes. Comparative what you could buy yeah. for that, that would it have this level of expression and the answer's not even, not even close. The price I mean, actually yeah. might actually be deliberate. Yeah, it could be. Yeah. Because of the, the Hydra Deluxe. It's kind of in the same area in the market. I, I but honestly, I can't. I mean, don't get me. I, I've, I, we've had this conversation. I love, I love the Hydra Synth. I love the Hydra Synth Deluxe. I love, mm. you know, I really do. I think it's, it's a great synth. It's a really great synth. But in terms of, in terms of, if you're trying to do this kind of and anything that's kind of atmospheric, and I mean, someone I think put in the chat, every, every single TV and film composer is going to have one. Uh, absolutely. I mean, that's mm. that's they will. Because it's it's instant kind of soundtrack, yeah. um, and um, uh, but compared to the hydrosynth, this is just this is just a different level of experience in terms. Oh of yeah, no, I, but I, 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 I love, mean on, I a, on a layman's point of view, like you know, you've got oh this is seventeen nine nine, this is seventeen nine nine, this is hyper, and people go oh well that one's cheaper, I'll go with that one kind yeah. of mm-hmm. scenario. Yeah. If you know what I mean. Yeah, I think um, yeah. I, I just, at the end of the day, it's just something very special, and I and, yeah. and as much as I you know I started off this, turning around and going, oh, you know we're all sick of seeing the bloody Osmos everywhere, literally <laughs> everywhere. There is not a day that another video isn't posted from someone going, oh I've got mine, I'm just now going to go through, you know. But I can totally, totally, totally understand why they would they would do it, and as much mm. as I'm sick to death of seeing it. The fact of if it's getting it out there, to, uh, a message to it. I mean, there's so many people I know that have basically gone, oh, I'm not really, wasn't really interested in it. I mean, mm. the amount of abuse that I had before, at the end of last year, where before they announced they were going to be shipping, I was still getting that kind of, never going to happen, load of rubbish, <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Yeah. And now, you know, kind of not interested, why would you want something like that? And you mm. kind of now know, you see these people kind of going, oh, yeah, I've ordered one now. So yeah. the fact that it's getting the publicity... Uh, it deserves it, and it really I think does. that's that's worth mentioning. That full credit to Expressive E. Uh, I don't know how they did it because you know it's a long period of time, and they clearly were having difficulties and issues in that process of getting it to the point where it is right now. Um, and I don't know what kind of uh, financial health they're in, whether they took a big hit or whether whether they didn't, whether this was all part of the plan and it's all worked out tickety boo. But big, big ups to them for actually seeing it through. People are getting them. I haven't heard it, hardly anybody say, "Oh, well, you know, it's not finished yet." I mean, no, no, I, I mean, I, again, the negatives. I will say that there's, there's, there are odd bugs here and there, but that's that's part of you know a new yeah. instrument like this. You're going to get one of the strangest ones, and I think I said the other night mm-hmm. was basically I was playing it, and and uh, all of a sudden. For kind of no reason whatsoever, the the A flat there mm-hmm. just stops responding as like every other note. So basically, every other note was fine, and just the A flat started responding in quite a different way. The way it reacted mm. to the it was completely different. And you know, you we're so used to turning around and going, "Oh God, you know, something's gone wrong with the key. You know, there's mm. one key, something's failed on it." Rebooted it. It's never done it again. It's absolutely no. fine. So, so it was. It was just, because the thing is with this, because of the way this works, and because the amount I kind of get the impression the amount of DSP going on yeah. to make to it knows exactly, basically what your fingers doing and exactly how much. I think it's all just. It's not. It's not physical issues. It's mm-hmm. actually DSP coping yeah. with what's going on. Mm-hmm. And so it just, it just, it was almost like uh, the bit on the A flat, whichever the, the, uh, the where the message was coming from on the A flat. It just went, no, I saw it. I'm not doing anything. I've yeah. done enough. Yeah. I've, I'm, you know, it's been playing the A flat too long now. <laughs> I've done my bit for the night, but literally rebooted it. Absolutely fine. Yeah. But I mean, you know, how, how many times have we seen, you know, projects start and then fail um, or get cancelled or, you know, massively delayed? I mean, we only have to look at something very close to this kind of thing you know what, what happened to roly and and they've had a, a bit of a roller coaster although they you know they're back and they're put you know putting stuff out but credit to expressive e for actually you know seeing it through delivering the thing 
and opening up pre-orders now for the next batches and you know lots of excited what? people are out there you know do you mean do you mean not just sitting there and going well we would do it if we had the chips but we don't have the chips. But, yeah, but we would but do it if no. we had the chips. We can show pretty pictures yeah. of what we do if we had yeah. the chips. Mm. Yeah. No, no, yeah. no. It's... But it is not. And, and they're a small, you know, comparatively, I, I don't know oh how many God. people. They're a yeah. very small company. Absolutely. Um, and they've, they've, they've seen it through. And I, I, we're starting to see a bit more of that now, I think, you know, with, with these kind of boutique startups or, you know, these, these people that are you know, fairly new to the, the, the industry. And I don't know whether it's because they're small and very agile that they can, you know, take the hits and roll with the punches and, and still deliver at the end of the day but look you know hats off to to expressive e for actually but also you know it. let's the, the, i mean i the only thing i will just say in terms of the build quality because i saw lots of people complaining mm. it's all it's all plastic and maybe they were expecting because the touche obviously has that lovely you know uh, lump of wood on and at the time mm. they made a big thing about the quality yeah. of that wood and, and i don't know what people were expecting when it arrived but although it's all plastic, we're not talking kind of all plastic like, you know, like the um, Roland System 8 mm -hmm. that basically mm -hmm. you can kind of pick up with three fingers. You know, it's not yeah. like that. It actually, although it is all plastic, it's it feels good quality. It mm -hmm. feels, you know, kind of it's weighty. The um, the actual, the, the, the rotaries feel nice. The buttons are well placed. I mean, I, I'm not sure about the, the springs on the um, sliders for the, the, the pitch bender because they just... You know they don't quite feel i'm used to a proper pitch bender but mm. you know it's a design choice but the whole thing feels it feels robust it feels quality the screen's lovely you know everything about it screams um it doesn't feel cheap at all i mean at all so when people turn around and moan because it's plastic it's just it's just ridiculous oh hang on the top is metal i licked it to check okay there you go that's why it feels that's why it feels particularly good plastic because it's almost it could almost be metal I'd say it's cheap yes. metal yeah yeah. Nice one, yeah well done Wagyu does it dent when you hit it yeah, yeah. but no it's, it's dent or um, crack yeah it's I, it's um, yeah I'm I'm absolutely chuffed and I think genuinely the most frustrating thing is since since I got it it's it's sat here and I've desperately just wanting to play it yeah and meanwhile, I'm sitting here having to write music, which is so non-Osmos, you know, yeah. no Osmos required. And it's just frustrating because all I really, genuinely, all I really want to do is just play it and play it yeah. and play it and play it. I guess the danger is, as it's always been, whenever something new and quite different that you know that sounds quite unique comes out. So Fairlight, for example, DX7, for another example. You're gonna hear it everywhere quite yeah, quickly you know you and a lot. Yeah, um, absolutely. And and that you know, I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing because, as you say, it is an instrument, and there's so many different ways of it sounding. You know, different. It's it's not like it's just you know an orchestra stab that you're gonna hear over and over and over again. You're, you're gonna hear nuance in playing as much as you're gonna hear the difference in the tones and the sounds that you're hearing as well. You're absolutely right. I think this is this. It's a bit like turning around and saying, "Go going back to those things with with wood and strings." It's like someone picking up a, <laughs> a you know kind of a classical guitar and saying, "Well, there's there's you know there's no point playing that because I've heard that sound so many times before." Mm. You know, it's it's you you ba everyone plays it differently. Everyone does it differently, yeah. and it's yeah. the same. It really is the same with this, really. I mean, it's actually quite funny that people keep coming back. If you go and look online, people keep coming back to the same presets. And it really is kind of almost like kind of, you know, kind of DX7 preset 15 bass sound, you know, kind of. You, you are going to hear it everywhere. But, you know, it's everyone's jumping to those. But believe me, in amongst the sounds, if you've gone online and keep hearing the same sounds, um, in amongst those sounds, there's a whole load of beautiful, beautiful yeah. sounds that aren't that aren't being kind of shown off. I mean, there's one that I had. Hang on a second. Yeah, one of the things I don't not that keen is you can only choose patches between with a um, the dial or a button, and okay. the dial the dial almost seems too fast and the button's too slow. So that's the one that everyone is using. That cello love you keep hearing that everywhere. Mm -hmm. But there's a really lovely. Um, which one is it? Hang on a second. It's like being in a music shop. <laughs> 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 
That's quite nice. Almost like Universe M1. Yeah, isn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> There's going to be a raft of these, those kind of um, yeah. CDs oh, yeah. to meditate all need, to. All you need is a pan pipe over the top. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yana Setter says, "Can you can you play Jump? <laughs> <laughs> Not in this shop." <laughs> oh dear. Um, Look, I, I want I want to hear some more of this, but before we do it, I think we we have a bunch of questions um, that we should go through. So, come on, Ben, you haven't done anything all night. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Jason Crouch asked, "What does uh, what what does the Osmos make far easier or more precise than other MPE controllers?" Ooh. Well, I haven't used. I, as I said to you, I haven't I haven't plugged it in and used it as an MPE controller. I think the only thing really going for it is the fact if you look at what else you've got um it really is mpe controllers and it's essentially rolly lindstrom uh anyone else can I give anything no i can't <laughs> yeah so it's one of three i mean yeah, i'm sure on. some will come over yeah. so it's one of three and they all have their they all have their qualities Lindstrom, as I as I said earlier, I rule out because it's not a keyboard, and, and mm. you, you essentially it's oh, very continuum uh, and continuum. Sorry, yeah, continuum. Um, continuum is kind of like the Roly in that the the feel of it. Although I've never actually played a continuum, but everything I've seen about because I looked into it before I went down the Roly route, um, everything it, it's it's it, I, it's a beautiful concept and a beautiful instrument, but it doesn't feel like a it doesn't feel like a keyboard. It's in the same way the Roly doesn't feel like a keyboard. It, mm. it may have a keyboard layout, but it doesn't feel like a mm. keyboard. And it's 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 a different way of working. You have to learn that as an instrument. Whereas this honestly feels like it's almost like a greatest hits album because it's got the it's got a keyboard. Yay, we're all from, familiar with that. Yeah, yeah. It's got the engine from the Continuum, which is amazing. Um, but you can and you can still do most of the stuff you can do in the Roly, as we said, apart from the big slides. Um, but it, it comes out of the box, and you're automatically in familiar territory. Mm. And and so I think it's more a case of an, there's an immediacy with this mm. that I don't think you have on any other of the MPE control. That doesn't mean that you can't get amazing results on all of those, but they're all being learnt from a um, um, you know, kind of not from scratch, but from a different place. You're learning from a different place. This one will automatically be more familiar to you, and you just have to get used to the accuracy of your fingers and and wobbling. But I mean, the thing is, the, the wobbling of your fingers starts to become really natural. Mm. You know, it's, if you've ever played a string instrument of any kind, it becomes second nature. Mm -hmm. And um, and obviously, you can adjust all of that. At the moment, it's just set up as a semitone, um, and so. So basically, I can bend up a note as, as a semitone and bend down a semitone. But you can adjust all of that. So if you want it to jump three octaves you can. on that, you can. Yeah. Or if you want it to do, it goes right right down to quarter notes. Um, you can you can adjust all that to make it to make it subtler. One of the things techniques I never thought I'd ever have to do is that basically you you actually can grab the note so basically as, you, as you're playing and if you want it to, to to kind of slide up a semitone it's easy to do if you put pressure on so you're, you're pressing right into the note and then you slide up and you can slide up but if you if you don't want to put the pressure on it's really difficult to put enough pressure on to bend it without mm -hmm. going into the pressure zone so what you i've learned is you basically have to play the note then grab it with your thumb there and actually slide it with your thumb okay. so you actually use two fingers to play a note and so you suddenly start doing this whole technique where you're going pinching actually, pinching you're actually yeah. pinching the note and doing there it there you go so that you, you know, there copyright you go. that now yeah copyright. <laughs> but uh, what else we got Ben 
Oh, sorry, I forgot. I was getting carried away. <laughs> <laughs> <getting carried out. laughs> uh, uh, how did the, the back keys wig uh, the back keys wiggle, or is it just C major or A minor w with the osmos? I'm not really sure what that means. What? How do the back keys wiggle? Or oh, I see what you mean. How do they wiggle? Well, um, black keys. Ah. Uh, yeah, so yeah. Right. So, yeah. so th th there's Sorry. exactly the same. There's there's no difference whatsoever. They all they all go back onto the you know kind of that separate mechanism that I told you about mm -hmm. behind the keys. They all go back to that. So there's there's um. So can you yeah can can you please press a black key all the way down? How does this work? So it works exactly the same. Exactly the same. There's yeah, no yeah. difference between the black keys and the white keys in terms of the mechanism. They they're exactly the same. They are where the black keys where there's the actual key and the mm -hmm. black section behind they attach but they are actually independent they actually kind of yeah. wiggle so it's exactly the same there's no okay. difference between the black and the white keys uh paul artel wants to know how key tarable is it <laughs> asking for a friend <laughs> well can i just point out that he should no longer be a friend <laughs> <laughs> i think ex-friend is the word you're looking for there oh, dude. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and, and there's another fl another flippant one here, and I, I want to know the answer to this one. Why doesn't Ty have a PSN shirt? I don't know. It, well, I can, I, can I, I'll be honest with you. It's the fact that every time I seem to hear about these PSN T-shirts, it's always the hassle of getting them. <laughs> all, all, I, all I keep hearing is, oh, yeah, well, you know, they're going to cost a fortune ship here, and you can't have them until, you know, kind of next May. So that's why I, I haven't well, said yeah, the guy we're, with we're the Osmos. Probably... Yeah, we're, yeah we're, we're just following the Osmos model. <laughs> If, oh, if they're, are they if they're easily accessible i promise i'll well, get one i don't know ben have we got an update on those yet uh, yeah he's still he's still able to carry out orders but because he's not well he's kind of okay put the main business on hold a little bit but he, he still will uh, okay, you know cool. deal with us so www.vibrographics.co.uk is where you go for one of those. We are looking at uh, changing things around a little bit, but yeah, we'll we'll come to that. Well, should it, should I just wait for the Mark II version then? Are you basically saying that I shouldn't I shouldn't jump on now for Mark One? That I should uh, I should I wait for Mark Two? There's I'll a seventy three known I'll, version coming. Yeah, Yay! yeah, yeah we'll, we'll do the eighty eight version for you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, the one thing I did need to just say to you, Robbie. I don't know. Did, yes. you, did you see this? I was saying to Ben that that um, I can't lift it up, otherwise it'll unplug it. But all of this so this is the first time i've actually ever plugged in a feed from the main system to do mm. any streaming i never bothered to do any of this but it's all coming through my tx6 <laughs> <laughs> just to prove a point a that i found a use i know i found a use for yeah, it that's all finally yeah thank you but <laughs> i just very to point that yeah. out yeah yeah, yeah thank well you. okay fair enough good luck <laughs> <laughs> Um, there was a question here from Peter James Stephen, um, but I think you've kind of answered this in a roundabout way, and it was, uh, what's it like controlling uh, Spitfire's BBC, but you haven't used it as a I controller? For I no. haven't tried it. I, I, that's, that is a really good question, and um, uh, I, re I do look forward to doing it. I just, yeah, at the moment, I, the job I'm on is not that kind of job. But... Um, uh, I mean, it's like all of these things. It's a bit like the the rolly stuff, really. It's that it, it it can work, but it just takes a lot of setting up. Mm. That's the thing. But I have to say, I think compared to from what I've seen, compared to setting up with the rolly, this is a lot simpler. Mm. Yeah, so, yeah. Because Kent, you were you were you've been going through that process of setting up the rolly to work with various sample libraries, and it's been yeah. rather painful. Yeah, well, a lot of the dimensions are not actually listed as CCs and don't transmit as CCs. Mm. Um, so with the Osmos, because the um, bend up, bend down and uh, pressure are in the, you know, completely separate functions within the key, um, you should be able to do the MIDI learn no problem anyway with them so you should be able to you know in, in, in terms of bbc orchestra mm. no problem yeah it should yeah. be all right i don't know about the key switching you probably still have to do that the old question way mm. yeah but, so. um <laughs> going back to our key tar thing apparently according to wagyu i just confirmed this this isn't a joke 
Apparently, Expressive E have confirmed that they're making a Kitar harness custom, or custom Kitar harness for Gaz. Wow. I mean, it, you know, I'm just. I mean. I mean, it's. It's, it's not it's light. Not it's light. just a couple it's of wood not, screws in each end, light. isn't it? I'll be honest with you. It is. It's not <laughs> and a stripe, light. Bit it's of not. A li- it's not a liberation, but it's not. It's not light. No. Um, but. And I mean, also, I know. I'm, I don't know what the because I think there was there was another question about what's the phys, uh, what's the substances used in the keys. I don't know if you really know that. Oh but, my god! As if I know that kind of. Thing. <laughs> but one of the one of the one of the things with the Roly Rise was that if you left it on you know vertical angle, the keys would. Be blah, blah, blah. Well, mine one did. Apparently, there's other people who've done it because yeah. I said it did it, and they said it and didn't it do it. Done it. Oh, no, right. no, it's okay. just mine. Mine was. I was just no, wondering it's, it's because not, there's yeah. so much going on there. It's not just yours. Yeah. Just is it reliant on gravity pulling on? You know, I don't. I don't. That's what's think. under the key. Roughly one of them. Okay. Yeah. And that's, that's your aftertouch resistor, as it yeah. were. Okay. That's the resistance it's made from. Mm. Yeah. Oh. You go, mammy. <laughs> right. that looks really odd <laughs> yeah so essentially what you've got in the osmos is to all intents and purposes much the same 49 two shades miniature of course yeah i suppose it's yeah not, it's not it's not uh, no, uh, not quite but. It, wait, no it's a miniaturized <laughs> version <laughs> If you want me to agree with you, I'll agree with you if you want. Yeah. Mate, I was talking to a guy from Expressive this week. He needed yeah. to see a safety done. And I, I said to him, I said, yeah. so <laughs> what about a chance of getting uh, uh, yeah. an Osmos really early? And he went, well, <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's well, not, you're like I mean, eight, he's going to be sitting in the corner. Yeah. It's <laughs> it's not it's they're not it's not quite four to nine touches because there's things you can do in the touche obviously that you can't do on here but I I know what you, I know what you mean the mechanism in principle, mm. in principle yeah. yeah yeah I mean if it was I mean if there were forty nine touches in here that would be I mean yeah. well I've got a hell of a pedal board coming then yeah <laughs> <laughs> you know so it's um it's big yeah, yeah. But, uh, build quality. <laughs> I mean, I, you've, you've mentioned the fact that plastic, honestly, but it's. I, I mean, I've seen a few online basically saying that you know, kind of, they got theirs and the the, the rotary encoders weren't uh, tight enough or or whatever. But honestly, I mine is um, it's it's really really good build mm-hmm. quality. I think one of the things, the only concern I would have, and it's not something you can predict, is the fact that because because of the wobble in the keys, and I'm so anal when it comes to <laughs> the. Hello. There was no need to laugh. Uh, <laughs> when it comes, I can definitely, definitely contest to that. When it comes to the gaps being spot on between the keys, yeah. Um, obviously, it's not as bad. Do you remember? Remember when we first saw the prototype, where all the keys just look like different heights and yeah. different widths? It's not like that by any stretch. But there are a few keys where the, and we're talking half a millimeter slightly off. And I'm, I'm not convinced that the more you use it, that eventually the the spacing may become mm. you know so I, I don't know i have no idea and until you do it but that's one of the only concerns that i would have that with excessive use the accuracy of how centered they are might possibly vary but other mm. than that i mean you know there's i i literally if every instrument was built like this i'd be more i'd be more than more than happy okay fair enough so. jolly good any other questions there ben Ah, I will just have a look. Um, <laughs> Keep it on your toes. <laughs> well, Lady Aptitude did ask, and we did cover this earlier, uh, what is the purpose of that extended area behind the keys? Well, and it's it, the mechanism, isn't it? Yeah. It's it where is. you put your orange juice. It's... But it does <laughs> 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 But it does have one may, maybe practical use. Yeah, the, well, the thing is, I kind of, if you actually look at the way, yeah, it's just an exposed mechanism, but because... They, they've exposed it in the fact that you know people should as i keep saying they should see the fact of the white and the black as separate entities but it does mean that you can do chromatic slides mm. um with it that you couldn't physically do on any other keyboard if it wasn't exposed is it um so you can do vangelis glisses basically yeah mm. yeah yeah you know. but so it's not a smooth thing you can't like it's not doesn't no. work like a ribbon no it doesn't okay Okay. No, it's not but, continuous. Oh, could I? 
cool. And Anything James else? Dyson has asked, yeah. uh, given there is so much going on with the unit, Wiggles, etc., do you think War and Sir will be an issue in the future after owning it for a do while? You know, that's a really good question, but I mean, at the end of the day... Yeah. You know, it's like anything, you're not going to know. Come back to me in three years' yeah. time, and I could be turning around and saying yes, and I could be turning around and saying no. It's mm. um, something like that. You're never, you're never really going to know, mm. really. I mean, in a way, uh, I don't want to turn around and say that the, the, the whole pandemic thing was good for them, but, I mean, all, I'm, yeah. all I am going to say, though, is, is that when, when they showed the prototype in 19, anyone could see that that wasn't, you know, that was still... I mean, very, very, very much a prototype, and mm. it it was nowhere near finished. And I think one of the things of, about the 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 having twenty twenty of not being able to, you know, all the crap that everyone had, and and joke aside, chip shortages and all that kind of thing, because everything got delayed. I honestly, I, I think the chances are, even if there was no pandemic and there was no chip delays. I think for them to get it right, they needed the time that they've taken mm -hmm. to to make it right. But I do, it you know, it does feel like a finished instrument. This doesn't because I've I've done I've got plenty of Kickstarter things and Indiegogo things where they arrive and you kind of think, yeah, you said this was going to arrive in June, and you're more bothered about getting it out in June rather than actually making it right it and right. finished mm. and but i do think with this it does feel like it feels like a very finished very complete instrument and i think it kind of worked in their favor that, that things got delayed because they could um make it make it as as, as good as it is because i mean yeah if anyone's got any doubt go and try and track down some of those really early videos mm -hmm. um yeah, yeah. It's, mm. that it wasn't anywhere near ready but yeah I know you said you've not played it a huge amount, so Jason's question probably won't get the, the answer he's requiring, but do you think that with all of that extra movement nope. Nope. that you'll get nah, any kind of... Nope. No? No. Not, not in the slightest. No, no, no. RSI or anything. No. <laughs> no, no. Yeah. There's not Osmo's a claim. strange there's, injury. <laughs> there's, not a claim. there's not a claim to be made. No. <laughs> um, <laughs> no. No, I, 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 don't, I don't think... I, I'll be honest with you. It's... It feels, it feels such an, this is the thing, it feels so natural to play. And I think that's the big difference. And I can't believe I didn't even say that one when I was talking on my crap. Is the fact that, is with the thing is with the Rollies, is that they're gorgeous things, they're beautiful things, but they never feel natural to play. They don't feel like it's a natural, your, your fingers are working in a natural way. Does mm -hmm. that make sense? Mm -hmm. would, you, yeah. would you agree with that, Kent? Yeah, absolutely. Whereas this, it honestly it feels like a joy to play, and it feels like when you're when you are doing that kind of shaping and just resting your fingers on it, and and when I turn the volume up, you can actually when you rest your fingers <laughs> yes. on it, you know. Shut up. He, uh, he knows all the controls, doesn't he? It, he it does. Feels got volume. <laughs> 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 I was here for the first three days, going, why can't I hear anything? Oh, <laughs> manual, get the manual yeah. out. Oh, man. <laughs> Uh, they just assume you know, I, don't they? I just want to point out, and, and, I've, and no one knows this. I've told this to nobody, but I'm going to tell you just because. Um, uh, you know, on the drum brute, mm -hmm. mm. I don't on the drum brute. So basically, the volume pot for the headphones is one of those volume pot, like on the um, which of the other instrument that's got? Oh, it's like this. So basically, it pops in and out. So basically, you press it, the volume pot pops out. You turn it. Yeah. You put it. You pop it back in. I didn't know this, and I was in the drum, drum brute, uh, got, got a drum brute, plugged it in, plugged in the headphones, can't hear anything. And I was like, bloody thing, it's broken! I'm, oh! I was literally ready to phone the shop going, it's broken! And, uh, yeah, and then I, as I left behind it, there's a little... Anyway. Um, so, yeah, but anyway, so so actually playing it, just, just rest, the fact that you can just rest your fingers and shape the sound feels so natural it feels it feels just like it was it was always meant keyboards were always meant to be this way right that's what it feels like okay. they were yeah. always meant to be this way yeah, yeah. wow so, yeah. um i think again we've probably had this answered but last question here from uh, andy synth addict um are you planning to use the matrix editor is it still too nerdy 
Um, do you know what? If you'd asked me before I'd got it, I would have turned around and went, yeah, of course I'm going to use the editor. Having loaded up the editor, no, I'm not using the bloody editor. <laughs> um, no, it's... It, it, they've got to do something with it. They will do something with it. I, it is it, For me, it is too nerdy. I mean, it's like properly nerdy. If If you've... Yeah, you have to go and have a look just how nerdy it is. I mean, like, mm. proper, proper, proper nerdy. Um, but, again, there's enough different variation in the presets and there's enough variation in the macros because you do get a lot of... You know, I think it's... You don't get a lot. I think it's is it eight macros, I think, for per per preset mm. um, and then a whole load of effects and things. There's enough variation you can get. And it's a bit like, for me, it's a bit like, you know, I've got a, I've got a VL1. <laughs> And in terms of the, you know, kind of program, you, there's yeah, no need you. for that. There's no need for that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. And um, and uh, the thing is with VL1, if you ever try programming a VL1, you, it's it's not it's not an enjoyable experience. It's not DX7 no. territory, but it's not enjoyable. Mm. And um, and so what you tend to use, you find the sounds that really work for you, and it's almost like the VL1 for me is an instrument that basically plays about eight sounds and it's it those eight sounds sound yeah. amazing yeah it sounds incredible but it's it, but again it's coming back to the whole thing if you don't turn around to a french horn player and turn around and go what you can only play what muted and unmuted that's it you've got two mm. sounds you yeah. know well that's a load of crap you know and it's yeah. a bit like this is the fact that i can honestly see this as an instrument where i probably only you know use it for I know. I mean, it's more variable than a, a VL one. So I know twenty sounds or something yeah. like that. But oh my god, those twenty sounds will be amazing. Yeah, you know, it, it almost the, feels the, like if if they simplify the interface for for the software, it would dumb it down to the point where it just doesn't do all the really they, cool, typical. They interesting don't. Stuff. They don't need to dumb it down. What it needs to be done is just in a in a the same way that they've they've made the macros here incredibly mm. easy to use. It just needs to integrate more of that kind of thing. Right. You know, it's that kind of thing. Oh, you you just want to add vibrato. You know, it's that kind of. Yeah. Okay. You click on vibrato and it adds vibrato to those mm. oscillators. That's it's that's what it needs to be done rather yeah. than sitting there doing all the linking and then putting in the formula to link that LFO to that, you know, that's what it needs to get rid of. Um, but also it then needs to be able to give you the option if you want to, to go into nerdy territory, mm. you know, but using some kind of templates as, you know, seems, mm. seems sensible. And I think the other thing is, and I said this to you before, Robbie, is the fact that I know that we're all sitting here clambering going, we'd all love a VP1, you know, kind of, and we would all love a VP1. But right at this moment, I have to be honest with you and say, from everything I've seen and heard of the VP1, mainly you know through PSN and whatever, this is the nearest thing. Mm. Sound wise, sounds, yeah, sound sounds wise to a, v, to a VP1. You know when yeah. when you know the guys were going through all the presets and things, a lot of that kind of stuff mm -hmm. is it's kind of second nature for for the engine in this. Wow. Yeah. So. It'd be interesting to see if Manny gets hold of one of these. I think he's got one. He's in the chat. But given you know that his experience with that, it, I would not I'm not saying I don't believe you. I do. I, everything I, I've heard I, from. But I, I'd, I'd like to see you know how he compares it as someone who worked on it. Uh, I think he'd love the uh, Egan Matrix, wouldn't he, Manny? He's oh yeah, he's, like, he's just said you might have them side yeah. by side. Um, the Egan Matrix, because it's used in this and a, and a few other things. I don't know if you know the answer to this, and if anybody in the chat does, let us know. Is there any kind of cross compatibility? Can you bring voices over from your uh, continuum, say for example, and use them in an Osmos, and vice versa? I d I don't know the answer to that, but my I would imagine because I think they are very close. I think mm. the engine is. I, I, I'm. I'm talking about what I think here, rather than if someone knows I'm talking crap, then please you know kind of tell me but i think the engine is almost uh, more or less identical mm -hmm. it's only the controllers that are going into it but the actual engine is identical it's the yeah. controlling surfaces um which theoretically means i would imagine that you could load them between them it may just mean that they may not respond in the, the way that you would imagine yeah 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 so and i'm sure that would just be a simple conversion bit of software to yeah mm. you know be interesting interesting to learn um any other questions from you guys while we're here i don't oh. think there's any there's nothing in the chat is there but from you 
Kent and, and Ben. I'm interested in, 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 and it's like, it's. I don't think Ty's going to know the answer, but uh, oh, just thanks, as man. a discussion point, how <clears throat> these, you know, indiv individual pitch bends per note and that, how that is like received by, you know, doors and sequences, because... You know, you've got your pitch bend controls, but then to have pitch bend on every single note, how how is that yeah. <laughs> translated? Yeah. You know, yeah, it's really really weird. Well, I, I, I'll uh, I'll tell the answer to that. All right. No, no, no I won't. Really. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I don't because I've never really gone into MPE because I don't have anything. But I imagine that the door has to be MPE compatible. Yeah. Because it's it's not going to yeah. be out, you know, Q, you know, Logic Ten or whatever it is a year ago isn't going to be MPE ready, is it? So, I, I guess it's that all the doors has, has got to be set up, and then I guess you've got to have because there's so much data going backwards and forwards, well, so much more data than traditional MIDI mm -hmm. that you know that the, the doors got to be able to process it's, it. It's the fingers of this is that you know kind of you, I, I'd. Again, I haven't, I, as I said, I haven't plugged it into anything else. But I'd love to know how how is it figuring out what? Because as I said, the sensitivity is just so ridiculous that the the level of control you've got, even just the first initial um, layer before it goes to the stop and then goes into the second layer, or kind of the aftertouch kind of thing. What on earth is that sending out? Mm -hmm. And how, as you say, per note, different values. It's got to be huge. It's got yeah. to be a huge amount of data that's mm. that's 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 you know kind of going over. But um, yeah, I saw I, some I, guy I USB three can support it. Mm. Right, mm. I saw some guy saying as well that. Um, oh God, I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> it's not just me then. <laughs> <laughs> you just, saw some guy. Just, I just saw just some, some guy saying, uh, "Oh yeah, I've got it. I've got it." He's yeah, saying that the Egan, it, it, basically the Egan Matrix was the the only synthesis system at, at, at this current time that offers the flexibility that they needed. You know, for the control for the control mm. system, it, mm. it allowed them to do all those different modulations and you know control the level of control that's needed. But I wonder if, as this as this becomes more popular, will you know, like say, so like pigments, like really incorporate elements to to make it more osmos friendly. You know, it, it, mm. it, is is this will we find that uh, if we do get like people who develop a really good technique on the osmos, like the 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 look into other sound engines, you know, and and. and connecting it that way once once that the embrace I, I know it's mpe and that's a standard but there's more there's more to this isn't I there think, i think i tell you why I, what i find incredibly positive is that when you boot it up when you boot it up you boot it up in one of two modes any any instrument where you boot, boot it literally on boot up for the first time you have to choose what mode you and it has a dedicated button. There's a dedicated button for you to load it up in sound engine mode or MPE mode. Yeah. So in other words, the MPE is very much not an afterthought. This is not a, mm -hmm. this is not something where they're just going, oh, we might as well make it do MPE. Yeah. It literally, you boot it up in one of two modes and it has a dedicated button and a dedicated set of controls just for MPE. Now that for me is, you know, that's brilliant because that means that they're going to, you, they're going to develop it you know it's going yeah. to be a major selling point of it so they're not going to cock up the mpe side of things and you just hope that the companies and i think they are that are kind of go along with it because i you know if this if this goes as well as it should go the, once this is in the hands of some really you know kind of special players some you know that are going to want to be using as you say other engines and sample libraries and you know imagine what this can be doing with omnisphere you know yeah. it's that kind of yeah. it's so and and as you it's made for the kind of industry that i'm in and mm. you know it's one one little thing by the way which i think seemed really clever that i didn't actually when you first get this machine uh you don't get it loaded up with the full um firmware oh. 
you know that that thing of you know the first thing when you open up a new synth they all, you always get that piece of paper going please check the latest firmware please mm, check for yeah. the latest update blah, blah blah and how many of us actually turn around and go no no i'll have a quick play on it and then i'll i'll load it up in a couple of days <laughs> yeah i do that all the time with this Six one months later yeah exactly this one's <laughs> fantastic because when you basically when you when you first get it you basically get a version and it comes up please update the latest firmware and of course i just went yeah yeah i will eventually and you suddenly realize you start you start going through the programs and uh so now all of a sudden you haven't got 500 you i don't know how many you've got but you've got i don't know 50 60 something like that and i'm there going i'm sure there aren't 500 and then you go to the macros you can't edit anything so oh, it, does, right. it basically turns around and goes no update the firmware <laughs> and you go into settings and it goes uh no update the firmware <laughs> so basically it gives you enough that if you're in a shop yeah. you could you could demo it you ah. could basically it just gives you enough so you can step through the sounds you can you know can play it all you can do all that kind of thing and and so they've given you a top however many it's top 50 sounds top 50, and you can demo it but it won't let you do anything else until you update the firmware and which i think is really clever i think it's yeah. a really good way to do it the other thing is though just to be careful if anyone does do it because i've seen some people online basically having paddies on it and is that when you do update the firmware it gets to 85 percent, and it's a really stupid thing so it gets to 85 percent, and then just stays so it takes a good few minutes and then hangs at 85 percent. and with all these people going mine's just hung at 85 percent. no 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 you have to look at the screen <laughs> And underneath, in really little writing, it turns around and says, please reboot your Osmos. <laughs> <laughs> but you yeah. don't see that. All you see yeah. is yeah. it's got to 85% and it stays at 85% for ages until you have to go and these little writers says, please reboot it. And then you reboot it and it does the last 15%. Hmm. But um, anyway, yeah, just a few little things to cool. warn people about. So do you think you'll be able just to give us, uh, just before we, we sort of bring, I know we sort of, we started a bit late, so we've got about maybe 10 minutes. Do you think you could just kind of give us a, a an impromptu improvisation and any other word that begins with IMP? Well, I've, I've kind of... Um, Impotent. I'll tell you what, I'll take the, what's the patch? When you first... When you Come on, first... get, get up to speed. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> An impotent so this, improvisation. So that was impotent, is, yeah. So that this is this is this is this is the patch you get when you first. When, this is the first patch you get. Okay. This is the showstopper. <laughs> which is I, I have to say doing what i do and and having had many years of of uh writing having to write loads of middle eastern music this is is my favorite patch mainly because of that thing i was telling you about with the slide mm. so the combination of that Um, yeah, there's lots of those. Where's this one? Oh, this is quite nice. Um, it's kind of a bit analogy, but with some FM thrown in. It's quite nice. Uh, this one's. This is this is shown the kind of um, the physical modelling, and so what I've got is I've got the uh, foot switch set up to the, do the mod wheel. So if you do it, the, the uh, mod wheel down. 
So that's the kind of, remember on the Z1 and the mm. VL when you could do that kind of. <laughs> so it does a lot of kind of the ring mod stuff. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Are there any sort of vocal sounds? Um, you let me go into factory and I'll have a look and you can uh, talk whilst I... Uh, <laughs> that question coming in from our viewer, Rustic Inc. Uh, by the way, just wanted to throw that one out. But yeah, it, just, it kind of... Okay, performance. <laughs> no, I think so. Really, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just wondering, because yeah, you can imagine that was on a sort of a choiry type uh, patch, you know. It would, uh... Wait, do you know what there there is? Let me let me find let me find choir. You see, this is a problem because I'm on Z now, and it's ordered alphabetically. I've now got to step through. There is one called choir, which obviously was so impressive. I completely forgotten it. Oh, for f hang on a second. It's really easy to use. Yeah, I, I love the way you could actually fill in rather than just letting me just. No, it's okay. Oh, oh great. That's, <laughs> no, that's sure it's, it's your show. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you think. Oh, there you It's, but it's not really what it's made for. It's it's another one of those. Do you know what I mean? It's yeah. I'm just looking through presets now. Oh, the organ's good. Yeah, maybe it doesn't work so well with the uh, <laughs> broken organ. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Drunk organist. Obviously, you're going to get woodwind sounds. So, I mean, things like the... Um... Bagpipes. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just very... Electric guitar. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> Oh, what? No, do you, do you, electric, <laughs> now do you know one of the one of the funny things was and i don't know what happened here so you know i told you about when you um you uh, first get it mm. and you only have a kind of best of yeah one of them was called distortion guitar when you first get it uh, okay and it was one of my favorite sounds and i'm thinking oh that's great when you then learn in, learn in software the the preset's still there but it's completely different oh <laughs> And I was, and honestly, you're thinking, God, have I missed something? No, no, no. It's exactly the same preset, you know. But it's, and it, it had this bit with the. But it had this kind of distortion yeah. that was just, it was just fantastic. And as you pulled up the mod wheel. It was, it was gorgeous, and this mm. sound is, is crap. But um, <laughs> well, no, it is. But the the original. Oh, these are nice. Anything that involved this is just pure physical modelling. Yeah. The other thing is, it depending. I don't know whether you can see that, but. Mm -hmm. Depending on how you you kind of approach and release mm. the note you get different parts of the modeling. So it's good for, yeah. Anyway, there we go. Oh, double saw. Yeah, we want to Still trying it. to find a use for that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I mean, it's... Oh. Yeah. 
Ja. 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 Getting drunk cello. Oh my god, that was good. <laughs> it's got DX1. Prepare yourselves. Go on then. DX1. <laughs> <sighs> okay, you'd I'm sell, ready. You'd sell your soul for this. Best sound ever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm listening to myself playing this thinking, what the hell do I do for a living? <laughs> <laughs> it's not synth demo. I mean, that's <laughs> <laughs> anyway, there we go. No, yeah. love, no, that's brilliant. Um, I mean, I, th I think... The the one thing that is well, there's two things that prevent me from ordering this. One, money. <laughs> Number two is no, I don't no, think I could do it justice. I because I don't think no, I have the chops, and you do need to have I, a degree I, of chops. I, 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 you know, I would. I'd. I, it depends what you want to use it for. Mm. It does. You know, I'm sure that some people that don't have the chops will get great things out of it. I'm sure they will. Mm. I, I, all all I'd say is I do. I really do think to get the to get the best out of it and, and some kind of consistency you kind of need to you need to be a, you do need to be a player mm, yeah I think. I think. and you as a player <laughs> I as a player that can't play <laughs> <laughs> didn't say that <laughs> yeah, I did <laughs> <laughs> oh dear listen um, Ty thank you as always uh, for for coming on and giving us your your valuable time because I know you're a busy man um, really have appreciated um, that, and I hope that everyone. Uh, yeah, certainly the comments are saying much the same. Um, yeah, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. I mean, it's it's good to actually hear it and talk about it and get the kind of instant. You know, it's it's all very well watching videos that have been you know nicely put together, and and there's some great ones out there and some not so great ones. But to actually be able to talk to someone about it with it there, and and yeah, you know, I think that's that's what we tend to do well anyway. I just think too lazy I think to make the other thing. I just I, I I just think when I'm sick of watching I'm sick of seeing this now. I mean it has got stage now mm. that it's kind of it's it's had its and but I'm sick of seeing the very polished the you know do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's yeah. it's almost like it's it's taken on some kind of um I mean, I joked about it being the second coming, but you know, there's some kind of reverence that it's kind of so amazing and it's so brilliant, and it it is. But I don't. I just think some people need to just kind of get a bit of a grip on yeah. themselves and yeah. some some bits of it, um, and just be a bit more down to earth about it. It's, yeah. At the end of the day, it's still just a synth, and yeah. it's nothing to do. It's nothing to do with what it can do or what it can't do. It's the person that's doing uh, it in the yeah, first place. Absolutely. Talking well, of which, by the way. Uh, you micro freak, mm. not mini micro freak, mini freak, mini freak. Yes, uh, that's a micro freak. Um, Did it arrive? It's arrived, and and, and you're, but you're perfectly right. It's, Thank you. It, it's a beautiful, it is, it's yeah. a beautiful thing, and even though it's got mini keys, and <laughs> I'm struggling not to play chords when I'm trying to play single notes, um, it's uh, it's 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 beautiful. It is, but it yeah. is it is it is great. So, Hopefully mine still works. Oh. <laughs> After the orange squash. Oh, no. ah. Yes. Never mind. No, I, I, I think it only sort of went... Because there's about like a quarter of an inch clearance. And I think it just went underneath. Uh, I, I, I'm pretty sure everything's okay. Although I do feel a little bit damp all over. Because it all kind oh, of went my, on the shorts. That's, and that's my playing. You're that's your Osmos play. And, yeah, and, and seeing your lovely face, of yeah. course. Uh, don't... Um, don't don't fight it, mate. No, okay. Uh, listen, uh, again, thank you so much for coming on. Um, and I look forward to hearing you using this in anger in something uh, very soon. And um, I'm sure we'll So we'll do hear I. It. So cool do stuff. I. Um, Kent, thank you. What? For, you know, oh. are, you, are, you, are you feeling okay? Because I know that we spoke earlier in the week and you had, you had to turn, but you, were, you seem okay. Had a bit, but yeah, um, yeah. I've had a bit of a yeah. Just every now and again, it's sort of like, yeah, yeah. Ooh, what's that? Yeah, yeah. Just every now and again, it, yeah. I'm getting better. I'll be. You all seem right. fairly corpus mentis, so. 
Yeah, and lots of that, and it's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Wet fish around the face. Yeah. yeah, right. Cool. Good stuff. Uh, ben, thank you. Yeah. Uh, camera number two, a bit flickery. I kept, I kept sort of thinking, there's a little kind of a flicker. I don't know if yeah. you can see it, but... I know yeah, I can't get me. Uh, I can't get me phone to work as the as the camera. If only it's just I had not, problems like that. Blimey. It's not showing up as an option, but it does in you know photo booth and things yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah, it yeah. shows up, but not in Weird. in Streamyard. So, yeah. and listen, mate, week. Ken and Ben, thank you so much for stepping in and getting the show on the road after yes. my little. Hang on, I was well, I nearly well. did make it. Yeah, but you didn't. You didn't do anything. Not in that I nearly regard, didn't anyway. make it because of the Mac Mini. It, well, there, was yeah. a, there was a very strong possibility it was just going to be tie on the screen for two hours going, la, la, la. <laughs> and nobody wants that. No, oh, no. Nobody wants that. I don't even uh, want that. Uh, <laughs> what, what have these people uh, done to deserve that? But we got there in the end, which was cool. And <laughs> yeah. um, I've been looking at mm. the numbers as we've been on air, and I think this is now the record show for the most viewers most live. <laughs> No, no, no. We are normally towards the end of the show. You start to see a few people drop off as they know that we're going to say goodbye. And there's no, no interesting stuff. We're still at levels that we would normally have peaked at, uh, and we we went beyond that. So mm. um, we should do we should do more of this. I should spill my orange squash more often. Have my browser go do lally on me. I still have no idea what what went wrong. But hey, we'll we'll work on that. Um, Ben, are you gigging this weekend? Supposed to be, yeah. Uh, supposed to. Uh, supposed do you know where you're gigging? <laughs> yeah, uh, it's just a saying, telling this gig, JDs. But we've got some really interesting ones coming up. Oh, yeah. A few down south. People have been asking when we're going to go down south. Yeah. And we've, we've got a few coming, um, coming guest up list. that way. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> definitely. As long as they're not too yeah. far away. Cool. Yeah. Lovely. Excellent Anybody stuff. in the Pro Synth Network gets a, a discount, you know. Gets a and discount. Pro Synth Network. T-shirt. You heard it here first. Yeah, Maybe yeah, I'll go turn up now. That's it. What about you, Kent? You got anything planned this weekend? You just putting your feet up for a while? Oh no, I have got a couple of cables to work on. Um, mm-hmm. uh, although it's been advised by certain members of the household that it might not be a good idea that I do work on any keyboards mm-hmm. this weekend. Um, so I don't know. Let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. Cool. Good stuff. Yeah, I might end up just sticking a soldering iron through the front yeah. panel or something like that and go, "Oops, stop." <laughs> Glad I've not got anything in between. I was going to say, that's exactly what I'm thinking. How about yeah. stopping before you do that? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I've got to do yeah. your DX7, haven't I? Yeah, don't you be careful yeah, no, with that. Yeah, where's my huge hammer? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, the really well, big one. <laughs> tomorrow, I, I'm road tripping tomorrow. I'm going to Nottingham. Really? And Ooh, I'm picking up, uh, picking up uh, a the TX816. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's tomorrow, is it? That's oh, tomorrow, last. yeah. Last. I know, wow. I just, uh, it's all confirmed. So, yeah, I'm off up there tomorrow. You needed another Yamaha, didn't you? Yeah, well, you know, there's a big gaping hole hmm. um, in my Talking bank balance. Trip, yeah. <laughs> but no, this 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 one looks like a really, really uh, tidy example. It's just had a full, like, kind of service and and everything. So it all looks rather nice. So, yep. Um, I think the next. Next thing I buy might be an Osmos now after yeah. this. <laughs> well, the thing is, you can have one of mine. What I'm paying for this, what I'm paying for this TX eight one six is not far off what an yeah, Osmos costs. It's an eight one six though. It's an eight one six. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah. And it's it will actually have a. Per- it's not just going to sit in a you know a rack just gathering dust. It will be earning its keep this year um, for sure. So uh, yeah, uh, it will pay for itself. Going to use and it to stain your orange juice on. That's it, yeah, to yeah. warm the room up. Yeah, um, nice. Indeed. Anyway, um, and Ty, I mean, you're you're busy as ever, aren't you? Yeah. Yep. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> nice talk. <laughs> no, no, it's only yeah. This is this is the, this is the the last uh, job for a bit. And, cool. Uh, so yeah, but yeah, it's going to be a bit full on, but that's all right. That's yeah. Good luck. <laughs> so, yeah. Exactly. Last job for a bit. The rest of them are for money. <laughs> brilliant well gentlemen it's been a pleasure as always and uh, i apologize to you and our viewers for the slightly fumbled beginning to the show but thank you to kent and ben for soldering oh God, through and sorting out ben <laughs> no <laughs> yeah i'd like to apologize for yeah. ben's bit no i think it's a bit we, crap i think we've done so. a perfect job of fumbling yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. absolutely I thought so 
Uh, we'll be back same time, same place next week, where hopefully there'll be news to talk about. Um, or, or, or not. I don't know. We, we shall see. Um, we haven't got any guests lined up at the moment, but uh, we are working on some. We've got some really interesting names in the bag and on the boil, shall we say. So um, fingers crossed we'll have some of those soon. <coughs> um, yeah, so until uh, until then, till same time, same place next week, we will see you then. Don't forget to um, like, share, subscribe, do all of that stuff, hit the bell, whatever. Um, make sure you subscribe and like the show with a thumbs up. Uh, and if you want to make a donation, you can do so at the normal places. It's all in the description underneath. Uh, thank you ever so much for uh, joining us. Um, we will see you again next week. Have a wonderful weekend. Have a safe weekend. I know that weather-wise, it's not going to be great, certainly in many places around the world. So stay mm. safe. And, um, yeah, have a good one. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. See you soon. Bye. Au revoir.